Life is a balancing act for many women as they deal with an increasing list of demands on their time. So this morning, we have some expert advice on how to make it all work. And I cannot wait to hear this. <laughs> this morning, we are joined by author Ann Grady, who wrote the book, 52 Strategies for Life, Love, and Work. Good morning, Ann. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Okay, so we have to start. Is it even possible? Because that's what my mind sort of explodes when I think about mom and work and everything going on. No, it's a complete myth. Stop trying. Ah, <laughs> I'm, so I'm, I'm serious. Yeah, I think everybody tries so hard to do it all. And I thought with a master's degree and 20 years consulting in the corporate world would prepare me, but it was my mentally ill little boy that really taught me that it's not possible. And so we beat ourselves up trying to accomplish something that's really not realistic. So, what are women doing wrong? What can they do? What I think most people should start with is define your priorities. What are the top three to five things that are really most important? And do your actions match your intentions? So does where you spend your time align with what you say is most important to you? Then rate your priorities. Use a balance wheel and you know check off where you feel you are in each area that's really most important to you. And then schedule what matters. I think we get really good at prioritizing our schedules, but we don't get really great at scheduling our priorities. Huh, interesting way to look at it. And you know, I'm such a multitasker and I always think, oh, this is so great. Women, you know, we can do this and we can do that. We can do everything. But I so often feel like I sort of do things halfway because I have to leave this project to go to this project and leave the job to work with the kids. And so, I mean, is multitasking a good thing or really a bad thing? Well, recent research has shown that it's not even possible. So you can switch tasks between two different tasks very quickly, but multitasking isn't really possible. Your brain can't do two things at once. So you actually take longer and are less effective. So really focusing on one thing at a time is really the way to go. So you're saying we can learn something from men in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible multitasking. It's so true. My husband thinks he's good, but he, he doesn't know. Well, what do you tell women who get so stressed out about this? I mean, because it is stressful trying to balance everything. It is, but you know what? You can take one day at a time, and all you can do is all you can do. So you can spend the energy feeling guilty and exhausted, or you can use that energy to be as productive as possible by really scheduling what's most important and not being afraid to say no. And the the next step is being present. Be where you are when you're there. I think that's the key. I don't know about you, but you feel like you can't say no to things. I mean, I constantly say yes to things. I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't have time to do that. Right, right. And my brain is always on the next thing coming up as opposed right. to just enjoying in the moment. Right now I'm with my kids, enjoy this. Think about those thunderstorms tonight later. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got a CEO uh, that I coach and he says, well, I don't understand why my employees don't feel like they have work-life balance. Well, he's sending emails at midnight and expecting a reply. So we train people how to treat us. If you're constantly saying yes, then you're, you're enabling it and sending a message that you can be all things to all people, which just isn't possible. I, I'm guilty of that too, checking my work email at home while I'm watching TV or something. And it's okay to say no. It is okay to say no. In fact, it's your responsibility to say no. Finding out what's most important to you, assessing where you are regularly, and taking time to spend, you know, take the time you need, the money you need, the resources you need to really focus on what's most important. You know, there are some things in our life that should be more important than others. Okay. There are priorities. The bookstore, the books is on stands now at bookstores? Yes, it's on Amazon.com, okay. success52.com. And if you go to success52.com, you'll find a free assessment oh. as well as a free chapter of the book. And nice. thank you so much for joining us here today. We really appreciate it. So thank one you. of the things Amy needs to balance is our weather. <laughs> Amy? Oh, great. Now i got to talk about the weather. Yes, but I'm going to focus on this right nice. now. And then I'm going to go buy your book for all of my friends.